What's up, YouTube? It's J-Man and me, the jokester, and we're laughing already because you thought we couldn't come up with even more uh, Super Mario enemies that need to be in Mario Maker 3. Well, you were wrong, and when I say we, I mean the J-Man. The J-Man, you know, he, Super Mario Maker 1 and 2 are such fun games, but according to the J-Man, they just don't have enough enemies. They don't have a good selection of enemies, and he's thought of even more... Uh, classic, amazing uh, Super Mario enemies from the whole world of games that need to be in Mario Maker 3. So number 10. Jamin, do you want to tell the people who's coming in at number 10? Chuck. 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 That's right, Charging Chuck, which is a, uh, a football player. He's got a little football helmet and he comes running at you. Um, pretty pretty tough guy to beat. Uh, I remember he's in, I think he's best known for being in Super Mario World. What's your selection for number nine? Four. Chomp. That's right, the Flame Chomps, uh, also known as Fire Chomps. And those are the, um, they're like Chain Chomps. They're, they got a, uh, a black head and, um, instead of, uh, metal chains holding them in place, it's fireballs, so... They're very dangerous to touch anywhere. Do you mind if I tell the folks this one, or do you want to... Can I tell them? Yeah. Number eight is uh, Spiny Cheep Cheep. Now, as we all know, the Cheep Cheep is the uh, fish that comes jumping up out of the water in the Mario games, and the Spiny Cheep Cheep is a, is a fish that has spikes on it, so... Super, <laughs> I guess, not super dang... You know, I, but in all the games, if a Cheep Cheep touches you, you die. And I guess they've just added the spikes to make it more menacing. All right, Jay, man, we're moving on to number seven. The Swoop. The Swoop, originally known as Swoopers, and they're the, the blue bats that occasionally come flying at you in the Mario games. <coughs> Excuse me. And they've, uh, they've been a staple throughout. Uh, they're, they're in a lot of the newer games, aren't they, too? Yeah. And at number six, Jason on the list. Crow. That's right, a crowber, <clears throat> which is, as the name suggests, is a big crow. Sometimes they're very creative in these games with their with the names and the designs. The, the crowber is just a big crow. Um, and, but he is, I will say, I will say this, Crowbar, I recall, is quite tough to beat. And usually it kind of just comes flying at you. Or up to number five, and then this is a, and this is an, you know, so, so many times you tell me the names of these enemies, and I'm like, what could you be talking about? And then I look it up, and it's like, oh yeah. Number five, I will tell you folks, is the Hucket Crab. Now the, the Hucket Crab is a, uh, a little hermit crab that you see in the uh, new Super Mario Brothers Wii, and he, he's in the beach levels. He's a hermit crab, and he tosses, he hucks uh, rocks at you. Lay it on the people. Number four on this list of enemies. Rammerhead shark. That's right, the Rammerhead shark. And this is a this is a very creative enemy. I think it's um, a purple hammerhead shark, and the the head of it is like um has a has a bunch of spikes on it, like um I guess like a medieval mace or something, or um I don't know how you would describe it, but. It's a neat enemy, and it's in the, a lot of the 3D games when you're swimming, and it's it's kind of tough to swim around. And are they can can you kill them at all? Or they they're kind of invincible, right? Now number three, Jason, I gotta tell you, I think I, this is a classic. I would call this a classic Mario enemy, and I can't believe it, we didn't bring it up in the other two uh, videos we did about the enemies that need to be in Super Mario Maker three. What do we have here? Shy guy. Oh, that's right, the shy guy. The shy guy, the little, the little hooded uh, creature with the, the kind of the, the white mask with the big eye, the big eyes from Super Mario Brothers Two. Anywho, the shy guys, you see them. They're not a lot of the Yoshi games, though, right? Yeah. So, number two. I know you love this guy. He's one of your favorites. You talking about him all the time. 
Who's, who do we have at number two, J-Man? <laughs> Rex. Yes, that's right, Rex. He's uh, the little purple or blue dinosaur. Um, we've come to think of Rex very fondly because Jason writes these... Uh, writes these stories about the Mario enemies and he always has Rex in there as hanging around and generally being a nice little fellow. He's an enemy in the Mario games, but so Jason has characterized him as being a nice a nice young dinosaur, so that's how I think of him and it would be great to have him in there. Include include Rex. Made it to the number one spot, J Man. This is this is the 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 enemy you now want to see most in Mario Maker 3, and it's, you, I have to tell you, this is another one where it's like, this is obscure, and it's strange, and it's weird, and I think it's kind of forgotten about. A star. A star, that's right, or stars. Now, not, we don't mean the invincibility stars, those are obviously not enemies, but in, uh, super, in, um, Mario Land 2 for the Game Boy, there are stars that are not invincibility stars, they're sort of like, um, they're like obstacles or, or uh, like stationary enemies that you kind of have to float around when you're in the astronaut level, the space level. Uh, here the, 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 those sirens are coming to get you because they, they heard that uh, you're promoting all these enemies and saying all these enemies are great. I said Rex isn't good. He's a bad guy. Stop saying Rex is nice and friendly. He's wanted for crimes against Mario. So there you go. But I, I think that's a great pick, Jay. I think you picked all fantastic enemies in here. Bob. Some. We. We do have some honorable mentions. Um. Now the first honorable mention was Sniper Bro, which was like a big, like a big stack of hammer bros, and then their hammers were like, um, kind of heat seeking, they'd find you wherever you were. Like, I, I don't know, I can't find any evidence of it, but it is really neat, and it captured Jason's imagination, Jason's like, I want to put that in as an honorable mention. And, we'll, and the other honorable mention is the Heavy Boomerang Bro, now that would be an, a, a regular boomerang bro that you give the mushroom to, and they become large and in charge, right? Yeah, they there are, you know, some of those larger and in charge enemies. Never mind another large and in charge enemy they should throw in. Can I add an honorable mention? No. 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 Well, J Man, thank you so much for having me on the video. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, leave a comment if you just want to tell us good job or bad job or whatever. Smash all the buttons and oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, our food's ready. Bah. Bah.